Hello everybody, welcome back to part three for this tutorial series where we're going through a workflow on doing geometry prep for a structural simulation. So in part two, we went over the basics of repairing our geometry, doing some cleanup and some defeaturing. And now in part three, we're going to focus on creating name selections, doing shared topology, and then transferring it to Workbench. Okay, so let's look at how to create some name selections. Now, name selections are basically just naming conventions or tags that can be used in your simulation to more easily select geometry or repeatedly select a certain geometry and apply some boundary conditions or some contact and so on. So this can be found under the advanced selection tab here. Now we went through power select in part one. Let's focus on this area called groups. This is where we can create some name selections. So for example, if we select this face right here, maybe this is where we would apply a load down the road, select it and then click on this plus selection icon, which will make our name selection. Now this by default is called group one. We can right click and rename that to load. So this is one way to create uh, the name selection. Let's create another one. So on the back here, maybe this is the area that we're going to fix. So likewise, we can go in and click on the plus selection and call this fixed. So as you can see, this is a nice way to, you know, um, pre-select some place that you think you would repeatedly use in your simulation. So you can more easily apply that boundary condition down the road. So to see how this actually works, now that I have this hidden, I could open this and click on load or click on fixed. And you can see um, that those faces are associated with those name selections. Something to keep in mind that name selections, in addition to being applied to faces, can be applied to bodies and edges as well. So now that we're done using name selections, let's uh, shut this tab and look into how we can use shared topology in Discovery. So shared topology is a way to achieve a conformal mesh um, and to ensure that we have accurate meshing within the intersection of different bodies. This is especially useful in a case uh, such as this bolt where we split up the bolt to apply a certain boundary condition more easily, but not necessarily to create different bodies. So to use shared topology, click on share right here. And this will show us the different regions in the bodies or in the model that we can actually go and create those shared regions. Now we're only interested in this bolt right here. So zoom in and we can see these two faces. So click on those two faces and that will create the shared topology in those regions and leave everything as is. Now there's two ways to see whether we were successful in sharing this topology in the geometry tree under bolts and nuts, let's go to that bolt tool and see that the icon here is a slightly different color as the others. And this shows that there is some shared topology in that body. Now to specifically see the faces that were shared, click on review here and we'll be able to see all the faces that were not shared by default in this red color here. To see the faces that were shared, let's just click on the not shared to disable that and click on shared to be able to see the faces that were shared. Now this by default is green, but you have the option to select a different color if that's your preference. And you also have the options to see different edges that are also shared in this, uh, in this shared topology. To also look at some hidden faces and hidden lines inside the model, you can click on Show Obscured, and this will help you further understand what is going on in your model. Once we are done with the shared topology, exit out of the tool by clicking on Escape twice. Now we are ready to transfer to Workbench or Mechanical using our Geometry Transfer options right here. So to transfer to Workbench, click on the Workbench icon, and this will fire up Workbench where discovery will load as a discovery component system, as you can see here. Now we have the option of linking an analysis system to this. So for example, static structural, I can go and link this to the discovery geometry and open up mechanical. When mechanical opens, we can see that our discovery geometry has successfully been imported. Under the geometry option here, we can see that the part management is exactly how we had set it up in discovery. Also, if you remember, we had suppressed the two small bolts that went here. 
And since they were suppressed, they didn't come into mechanical. So there's that seamless connection between, you know, the geometry decisions that you make in discovery and how they import into mechanical. Let me hide this. And then we can also see that under name selections, both our name selections that we had made, uh, you know, seamlessly come over. And there's that real ease in which you can do geometry prep in discovery and then transfer to mechanical to do your simulation. If we had created more name selections or we had assigned any materials in discovery, those would also have come over in this transfer. So that was all for this tutorial series where we learned how to do geometry prep for a structural simulation in the ANSYS discovery and then transfer the model to ANSYS Workbench. Thank you for your time in viewing this tutorial series for ANSYS discovery.